The woman you see behind us on the screen once dominated college basketball court. Her family now planning her funeral. Kayla Harris, one of five people killed in a North Las Vegas apartment complex on Monday night. Now, police are also revealing more about the moments prior to the gunman opening fire. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthey has those details. Hey! Hey! When a smile was needed. Okay. <laughs> Kayla Harris was the antidote. She has something to, to bring the shyness out of people. She gets everyone to laugh. Mario Caetano is head basketball coach at Adams State University in Colorado. <laughs> Where Harris was a star. As good as she was as a player, she was a better person. A 24-year-old that captured the heart of all she met, including Caetano's 8-year-old son. And I was like, why is he up at, at 2 in the morning and who is he talking to? And, and I walk into his room and he's, he's playing Fortnite with Kayla at 2 in the morning. I hear Kayla on the mic. And I'm like, what are you up? Kayla, go to bed. You got class. But Harris called Nevada home. As seen by this makeshift vigil, family and friends created for her Wednesday night. You can see this K5 written in candles right here. That was her nickname. This apartment complex is where she spent her final moments. We are now learning because of a situation mostly unrelated to her. Harris was one of six gunshot victims. This man, 47 year old Eric Adams, was the ex boyfriend of Harris's mom. Police say Monday night he arrived to the first floor unit where the mom lived. Harris and her girlfriend were spending the summer here too. A domestic dispute erupted and then gunfire. Harris, her girlfriend, and a 20 year old man who was visiting from the unit above them were shot. Adams then made his way upstairs where two middle aged women and a teenager were shot. Only the teenager survived. Two other teens were in hiding. Police say Adams then took his ex as hostage. She eventually escaped. He remained on the loose, turning the gun he was carrying on himself when he was found the next morning. I mean, she was holding my little girl on Saturday watching my son play, and now she ain't here. All that's left are these memories that still provoke a smile. We'll move forward, but it's, 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 you're going to feel like some sort of emptiness for sure. Now, Harris's mother was too emotional to speak with us on camera, but she did confirm the six victims are part of three different families. And she's also created a GoFundMe for a proper homecoming service. We'll have that for you on our website tonight.